thank y'all very much for tuning in. I know you caught Mary in an awkward situation here. <laughs> She's doing the work. Uh, but I had to I had to hear up and make this video about Stephen Lett. Y'all know Stephen Lett. The one who very expressive, enthusiastic, the way he moves his mouth and but you know when he came to Arizona and gave a gave a couple of special talks. I got a chance to meet him. And after the assembly, he wasn't like that. The, the way he performs when he's giving his talk, uh, his expressions, his enthusiasm, he was not like that when, when, when I was conversing with him. He talked calmly. His, his eyes were normal. He was not opening them. He, in fact, he didn't even show no enthusiasm when he met me. He didn't show no enthusiasm at all. No, no, no enthusiasm at all. He didn't even seem like a normal governing body member that, that I knew back in the past. Now, I met governing body members. But Mr. Stephen Lett, this dude, he did not seem like a governing body member that I've met in the past. I met some at Bethel. I met some when they visited my hometown. But um, I want to tell you something. He gave me some, I felt weird when, in conversing with him. I felt strange. I'm like, this dude don't even seem like a Jehovah's Witness. He didn't come across as a spiritual minded person who love the Christ he looked like a businessman he seemed like a CEO uh, of a business that had no affection like um, the vibes I was getting from him was I can tell this dude cared nothing about me. And I'm going to tell you what. So after the assembly, he was standing in the distance. So I grabbed one of my twin boys, which he was around. One of my twin boys. I'd say they were around three or four years of age. They were small enough where I had to carry them. So I went up to Mr. Lett, all excited. Hey, Brother Lett, you know, enjoy your talk. You know how we normally do. Blah, blah, blah. So I said, yeah, this is my son. You know, introduce my son, him to my son. And say, I was like, son, say hello to Brother Let. Then, and, uh, so I had my son to quote a scripture. You know, Psalms 83, 18, talking about Jehovah. So my son quoted a scripture. He quoted that scripture. And I knew, I knew Brother Let. I just knew he was going to get so excited that you got a three-year little, three-year kid able to quote a scripture that's talking about almighty God Jehovah you know this dude was not even impressed he looked at my son and kind of made a he had a little smirk and he was like <laughs> Jehovah <laughs> that's all he said that's all he said it was like he was not impressed when my son quoted a famous scripture that we all Jehovah's Witnesses love. It's like, it was like just, and I was like, this dude is weird. This, this governing body member is weird. And so I start questioning him about what did he do at, at uh, Bethel? He named the department. And I was like, so what, what, what was that again? Because I wasn't familiar with it. He looked at me like I was a stupid fool. He gave me a look like, you dumb. You don't know what that is. So I just dropped it. I dropped it. I didn't even ask him no more questions. Because I, I felt no good positive vibes coming from him. And he was too good to converse with you? I don't know if he thought he was too good. But I kind of didn't like the way he was looking at my son either. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like the way he was looking at my son. 
I, I'm not trying to insinuate anything here, but I just didn't like the way he was looking at my son. Number one, he didn't give my son blessings when my son quoted the famous scripture, Psalms 83, 18. But, but yeah, I, I didn't get any good vibes. No, no spiritual vibe from Mr. Lett. You know, and I'm sure you got a story too. If you got a story of a governing body member and you felt awkward or felt weird, share it. Leave it in the comments. In fact, like this video. Like it. Share it. Get it out there. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody has stories. Yeah. And thank you everybody because we love your comments. And your comments, they're helping others. Yes. Yeah. Big thank time. you. Big time. Thank you. Yes. We got close to 1,600 subscribers. Thank you very much. You know, so that's my story with Mr. Brother Led. But when I walked away from him, I was like, wow, that was awkward. That was strange. You know, so thank y'all very much for tuning in. And we will talk with y'all later. See you soon.